Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the scene editor for Mount and Blade Bannerlord. In order to get the scene editor, you would have to go into your Steam library and make sure that you have tools selected. Then scroll down and make sure to get the modding kit. Install it and hit launch. at the menu, you have to press Ctrl E. Now we are inside the scene editor and we can actually begin to make a scene. This represents a compass, so this is pointing north, uh, in case you would need that information for your map. In order to create a new terrain, you would have to click on the Select Terrain and you can see the new uh, properties for the scene. When you're satisfied with your settings, you're going to hit the Generate Terrain button. You can use a template to color the terrain from the start. I'm going to use this one for this map. In order to move around, you have to right click and spin the camera. If you want to move faster on the map, hold down shift. Now we're going to take a look at the terrain elevation. Over here, you can see if you are raising the terrain, lowering it, or smoothing it or flattening it. In order to increase the size you can use the mouse wheel. So right now we are raising the terrain as you can probably see. So we could create a mountain right here if we wanted. If you want to increase the size a little faster, you would have to increase the weight. So now it's going a little faster. You can also increase the hardness. So it's a, a little more rough around the edges. You can see the inner circle gets larger. So if we decrease it now, you will see it's smaller. Now we are going to try and lower the terrain somewhere, which will be interesting in a moment. So let's say we are going to add a river here. Something like that. And now we are going to smoothen the terrain a bit to make it look just slightly more realistic. Good. Now, this mountain doesn't look very nice right now, but it's going to be better, trust me. I think the key to any good map is actually patience and dedication to details. So now we have a mountain, it may not be the most beautiful mountain in the world, but it's a mountain. It can always be improved later on. Good, so. Now we got the basic stuff for terrain elevation. You can add noise which will, I recommend that, which will uh, make it look slightly more realistic, I would say. As you can see, there are also a lot of other uh, settings you can adjust in case that is needed. Now we are gonna add some water in this river. What you're gonna do is you're going down here to scene options. If you can't see this tab, Go to the window menu and make sure it's selected. 
when selected you click on it and you will see that there is a setting called water and right now it's uh, minus 100 so if we put it at zero that's just as you can see that's just right where it goes from the flat surface to water so it would have to be a little lower otherwise it's going to look a little weird so let's lower it to maybe something something like that uh, as you can see the outer mesh is also changed uh, due to the water so that's a nice feature If you want to increase your terrain size, uh, let's say you have created this map and you suddenly realize, well, this is simply too small. You go back to select terrain and there is a tab called resize terrain. So let's say we increase the map size by eight in both directions. Hit apply. And you can see that the map is much, much larger than before. You can also decrease the size uh, adjusting these settings, of course. But uh, I think that's self-explanatory. So when you have done that, you can use the terrain layer so this is the main layer we are coloring with uh, right now so you have a new layer I would uh, recommend default or you can use some of the uh, prefabs we got it's this one and when you double click on it it will open all these settings but the most important one is actually the diffuse map. Click on it and you can see all the types of terrain paintings you can use here in the editor. When you have selected your texture, you can actually already begin coloring the map. Like before, you can increase the size with the mouse wheel and you can also erase over here if you paint something wrong. And you can also smoothen out the texture if that is necessary. Uh, like before, you can increase and decrease the weight so it's not painting as much. You can see it's a little more smooth transition over from here than over here. Now that's all I'm going to show today, but next time I'm going to go into how you create entities and how you can adjust them for whatever purpose you might have. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.